That dead body Daphne found floating in the water was finally revealed in the White Lotus season two finale. I just knew I was gonna wanna see the finale. And creator Mike White's explaining his decision to kill off a main character. I just think dying at the hands of someone else felt too tragic. Major spoiler ahead if you haven't watched in three, two, one, so in the end, the dead body belonged to Jennifer Coolidge's beloved character, Tanya. So what exactly happened to Tanya? Oh my God. Turns out Tanya's new friends were revealed to be in a long con involving an attempt to kill her and take all her money, which her husband Greg was a part of. But she ended up killing the men while aboard their yacht on the way back to the hotel from Palermo. Uh, 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 no, it's all right. I, I'm alive. <laughs> Yeah, not exactly. Just when fans thought Tanya got away, she suffers an accident as she tries to escape. You got this. <laughs> as for why Mike White decided to kill her off, well, it had to do with a statement she made in season one. Tanya is sitting with Greg in the last episode and he's talking about his health issues and she says, I've had every kind of treatment over the years. Death is the last immersive experience I haven't tried. And I was thinking it'd be so fun to bring Tanya back because she's such a great character, but maybe that's the journey for her is like a journey to death. But Mike knew he had to send the season one fave off in the best way possible. I love her as a character and obviously love Jennifer, but I just felt like, you know, we're going to Italy. She's such a kind of diva, larger than life female archetype. It just felt like we could devise our own operatic conclusion to Tanya's life and her story. So it just made me laugh to think like she would like take out all of these cabal of killers and that after she successfully does that, that she just dies this derpy death. And it just felt like that's just so Tanya. Everybody has been gushing about you, Jennifer. Um, they look up to you. How does that make you feel? Well, it's probably because I'm the oldest. <laughs> No, because you're a legend. That's why you're a legend. You're a legend. Yeah, icon. While we won't see Tanya at another White Lotus resort again, Jennifer isn't leaving the franchise empty handed. The actress won an Emmy for her first go around as Tanya in season one. Your Emmy, all these famous fans like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, does that fill you with pride or pressure? Well, it's over. I mean, there's nothing I can do. That You know, it's, it's if we were filming right now, I don't know, it'd be different, but you film it and you have to sort of let it go. And more good news, Jennifer also scored a Golden Globe nom for her work on season two. Jennifer Coolidge Renaissance should be taught as an important part of American history. I agree. 